the power of free choice, Rabbeinu is explaining here, is only when you lack of that knowledge of how to know how to get along with those two wisdoms. Only when you lack of advice, only when you don't know what to do, this is the time of the free choice. This is the time that you're going to choose. Because if you know that this thing is wrong and this thing is good, you're not choosing. It's not hard for you. For a person that for him to keep Shabbos, it's something that they taught him from his first days. For him, it's not a test to keep Shabbos. His gain on that Shabbos that he's guarding, that he's keeping, is not that huge like you that you have a war on that Shabbos. That you're thinking, what I'm going to do? My wife, she wants to drive in Shabbos. She wants to go to, to her parents in Shabbos. Everyone with his Yetzirah, with his war, wars. If you have Shlom Bay that is standing against Shabbos, and now you need to say, what I'm going to do? Shabbos or my Shlom Bay? What I'm going to do? Shlom Bay or Tarat HaMishpacha? What I'm going to do? My, the wife, she doesn't want to go to the Mikre. Now his wife can, his house can, can break Chas Shalom to parts because that he wants his wife to go to the Mikveh. What are you going to do? This is the time that you are being checked on your will inside because now you're going to use that free choice. And the free choice, this is my chidush that I'm trying to tell you, is that the free choice really going to reveal your inner, inner, pnimiyut, your inner side, who that you really are, who, where, the place that you're holding. Because now that you don't know, and sometimes et la asot la Hashem eferu toratecha. Sometimes if you want to serve Hashem, you have to break the rules. Sometimes you, like the Gemara is saying, mutav lechalel Shabbat achat, ma'asher lechalel Shabbatot arbe. It's better to break one Shabbos than to break a lot of Shabbos after it. Now you see that there is a certain situation. That you need to break Shabbos. The Gemara used that example. We don't need to be afraid to use that example. The Gemara used that example to break Shabbos. That it's the most strict things, most important thing. Now you have to break Shabbos. For Shlom Bayit, for a crazy situation that only Baalet Shuvah can find themselves in. <laughs> Very weird situation, like I found myself, Baruch Hashem. And you find yourself that you want to keep Shabbos, that you don't want to break Shabbos, and that you have to break Shabbos. What are you going to do now? What are you going to decide? So a person in that situation, he's going to show what his real will is, and what is the level of his faith. In the end, you're not going to choose Shabbos. You're just going to be divorced. You're not going to have a house. Your kids are going to live and going to be chilonim with your wife. Where are you going to be in your Shabbos? What are you going to do in those Shabbatot? Tell me. Why you got that Shabbat for? If not for your wife and kids and family to sit together, to sing, sing Shireh Shabbat and to go to the shul together and to be happy. For what Borolam gave you the Shabbos? If not to enjoy the Shabbos. So in that moment of free choice, you have to show that you're choosing Hashem. Uvacharta b'chaim. Barolam didn't say, you choose the Torah, you choose the Halakha, you choose the Halakha, you choose the Psaq, you choose... Barolam said, choose life. Life. What it means, life? Life, it's a will. Potach et yadecha u masbiya lechol chai ratzon. Barolam is giving the life, it's a will. If you have a will, you have life. If your will died, means that you're a dead person. You're not alive. If you don't want to progress, to achieve things, you're dead. So you need to choose life. You need to choose something that's going to bring life into that situation. That you are now in darkness. You don't know what to do. Shabbos, it's so important. Shalom Bayit, it's so important. To raise the kids in a frum way, in a Hasidic way, it's very important. What are you going to do? Now there is the other option. It's a chilonist. I don't know what. To eat kosher, not to eat kosher. Situations. To go to, for two months to, to, to Chicago. And then to, who knows? But you need to choose life. Brolam is telling you, you need to choose life. And when it's coming, that moment, when you lack of wisdom, when you don't know what the truth is, when you know what the truth is, this is the time that you, that you don't choose. You're just going by counting your knowledge and you're not choosing nothing. You're choosing when you lack of wisdom. 
and this is where Bore Olam is checking you. This is when you can gain a lot, a lot more in those darkness. And in those situations, the only solution is to scream to Hashem Barach. It's just a temporary world that in this world, in this period of time, we have a mission. What's the mission? The mission is only not to forget the Creator, to remember that it's all Him, never to fall in the trap of all of those coverings, of all of those husks.